Yo, what is up, guys? It is Super Mario Richie, and welcome to the very first episode of Mario Plush Video Tips. Now, before I talk about what this whole episode is going to be about, because there's going to be multiple episodes, I'm going to talk about what this series is going to be about. So basically, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be giving my tips on how to become a better plush tuber, kind of like what I did in the past on my main channel. If you guys remember some of you old fans, I made these videos. One of them was like an hour long, but I gave my advice on like how to make plush videos, what I do. And I'm going to be doing the same thing, but, you know, two, three years later. So I have different stuff to say probably better or some of them might be the same but it's also good for all you new fans that are just here so I'm gonna divide um, a bunch of stuff into different episodes like this episode is gonna be like what you need to get started what you need to buy and get over time to start your channel then I'm gonna have different ones about editing filming and some maybe advanced ones like how to how to work with green screens and blue screens and how all that stuff works and if you want to get into that and yeah, so this very first episode is going to be about what you need to buy to start making Mario Plush videos. And it's actually not a lot. I'm going to be recommending all the, you know, basic stuff and some advanced stuff as well. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you're probably going to need, 100% going to need for when you're making these Mario Plush videos or whatever plush videos you're making is the plushies. Now, if you're not making Mario Plush videos, you're making like Five Nights at Freddy's or Sonic or whatever, that's kind of up to you. But I'm going to be showing you what you need, like basic characters you can use for Mario. So basic characters you're going to need is, you know, we're going to need Mario and Luigi. Probably going to want like Peach and Toad and also Yoshi. And two villains like Bowser and Bowser Jr. Now, these are probably just like enough people. So those are seven people. Those are definitely like quite a lot to start your channel off and the reason I say that is you I wouldn't recommend you to start your channel with just like Mario or maybe like you know let's say you only have Mario, Toad, and Peach like start your channel with a good amount of characters because then you can make different videos so let's say you have those seven characters and then you can make a video called like you know Toad's Broken Leg and then you can make like Mario's Mar Mushroom Addiction or Princess Peach Gets Kidnapped or you can make a whole series with all those characters and if you have a little bit more money I recommend you pick up Wario and Luigi alongside that because those are really cool characters because you can also make them villains against Mario and Luigi and then you can also get Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong but another thing I'm going to point out is a lot of people that's another thing a lot of people do the same thing they get the same characters and they make them play the same kind of roles the same characters and stuff but um, what really makes a lot of people um, pop out and different such as me is I do a lot of stuff with the Koopalings and the Koopalings are like the bad guys so you'd you know make them as the bad guys but in my videos they're kind of like the main characters right so you can take like Wario and Waluigi and they're like you know the bad guys but you know in my videos they're just like you know they're the, one of the main characters on the channel they're like the big stars and then also Bowser so like maybe this whole list of plushies doesn't apply to you you can get what you want let's say you want your funny character in your video to be Goomba, like Goomba's gonna be really funny or something, then you know, buy Goomba. But if you just wanna make Mario adventure videos for fun, then I recommend those characters. Those are the more important Mario characters. But if you wanna kinda be different and get all the Koopalings and make them all the different personalities, I highly recommend that. The whole point of starting a channel is to have really good ideas and be different. Don't, you know, copy people. And if you're doing it for fun, you know, go ahead. And also, it's really good to be inspired. So like, let's say you're really inspired by my uh, Wario character. Character. You know, you can take some elements and, you know, do that, but, you know, don't copy him. If you're inspired by a YouTuber, you know, you can use ideas that are different from theirs and stuff like that. But, yeah, another thing I'm just going to point out, I highly recommend you get the Kooplings because, you know, I know I use them a lot. But the reason I really like the Kooplings is those are seven different plushies. That's seven different characters and seven different personalities. So that's why the Kooplings are, like, the best. But I don't recommend that's your go-to idea because, you know, let's say everyone gets Kooplings after this. Then there's just going to be a ton of coupling videos. My point is try to be different. That's the number one kind of goal. Try to be different. Try to be unique. And I know it's not that easy, but maybe take an idea. Somebody did that at one point, let's say like Wario's cavity, and then make that like completely different from other people's and make it stand out and then people will notice you. So moving on, I'm gonna talk about cameras you can use. Now, I wanna point out, you can use a phone camera. I know in my old videos I said you can't, but phones have actually went through a lot of changes and the cameras are actually almost as just as good as cameras that I'm gonna be showing you in this video. So phones are okay, but one thing I wanna tell you guys is to save you a lot of trouble. If you're gonna use an Apple, I highly recommend you get an Apple computer so they're compatible. So if like you're using a phone, that's like, what's it called? So a phone that's really easily compatible with Windows or a phone for Apple computers. So yeah, that's just to save you a lot of time and trouble. So you can use phones if you want, just hopefully it's just a good phone, it's decent. But I'm gonna be talking about the cameras that I used to use. So I use a lot of Canon cameras, probably the only, yeah, the only cameras I used were Canon cameras actually. So here's my first camera. 
Now this camera is technically a picture camera, so it's you know good for pictures. It was really cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but it was really cheap. It was my you know first camera. It's a really good start. So if you can find kind of find a camera like that, it's not the best for video. It's good for pictures, so you can use those to, to take pictures for thumbnails. But uh, yeah, the whole Canon line, I recommend. I recommend Canon 100% because I've used them pretty much every single camera I've had is probably Canon. Most, no, they are Canon. And it's been really good for me, so highly recommend Canon. Now this second camera, oh my god, this was an amazing camera. I used it for like three years, this Canon camera. Now this is a camcorder, and uh, the thing with camcorders is those are the cameras that uh, you put in your hand and then they flip open like that. Those, if you can get one of those, you are set for almost like maybe your entire YouTube career, maybe not, I don't know. So I know for a fact Super Mario Logan uses a camcorder and it's basically one of those cameras that uh, you put on your hand and they open like this, you can flip them around. Those are meant to be video cameras and they are boss of all basic cameras. Highly recommend these and these are really good. I use them for all my go-to videos, I use them for a lot of videos for three years and they, it was pretty good, the audio was really good so you, you, there's no problem with hearing anything and it's really good so if you can if you can pick yourself a camera that's like this then you will be good my friend that would be awesome so now I'm gonna give more of like an advanced kind of a camera you can pick if you have a lot of money this camera was around the 1000 range but um, if you can get yourself a Canon camera like this the EOS cameras then you will be pretty much set I am set I'm probably not gonna get another camera for the next maybe 10 years probably like or ever this camera is really good it's a DSLR camera so I highly recommend these it comes with a good lens which is really good for focusing so right now as you can see if I put something kind of like behind me or like in front of me it focuses on it and it doesn't focus on my face as much as the object in front of it so this camera is literally the boss at like auto focusing and stuff like that it's really advanced so that if you are if you have a lot of money on you you've been saving up go with a Canon EOS or a T6J those other ones but this is the one I have the EOS ADD this is my current camera I use this now very pricey but honestly Honestly, if you're starting out, I honestly recommend you use your phone or get one of these. I highly recommend this because this was amazing. Also, I'm just going to throw in there, if you're going with the more advanced kind of thing, when you're getting this, make sure you get this. Now, this is a video mic, and basically, if you see right here, basically, this is a thing that goes on top of your camera. It's a little microphone. A lot of vloggers have it. And what that does is it makes the audio better. It kind of makes it more crisp. And also, I recommend you buy a dead cat, and you put that on top of that. Yeah, I know. It has a weird name. Basically, what the dead cat does, I'll flash a picture of it, and it actually blocks out a lot of the wind that you hear when you go outside to film. So, a great example is in my series, Adventures of the Kooplings, um, Devils Unleashed, episode 2. I filmed outside, and you can kind of hear the wind but you can hear the characters over top of that so it blocks out a lot of the wind so dead cats are amazing not actual dead cats but the, 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 the dead cat on my camera so yeah those are amazing highly recommend those if you have a road mic but uh yeah those are what I recommend with cameras so overall I recommend this camera for beginners or an iPhone because I like iPhone cameras all right so moving on to computers now with computers there's two pretty much two routes you can go you can go with Windows or you can go with Apple and I'm an Apple Apple person so I went with Apple but I have used Windows in the past and I know stuff that can work for that program so I'm gonna try to guide you in those two directions so Windows is really popular I'm gonna start off with Windows because most of you probably use Windows if you go with Windows um, I used to use this editor called Wondershare video editor um, it was like maybe 30 50 bucks I don't know but it was a really basic editor but it's not too good but I know there's one editor on that the three correct me if I'm wrong but it's a movie maker it's a really basic thing you can just put clips together and guys you you really need an editor. Absolutely need a computer to make plush videos. Don't try editing on your phone, please. Do not try editing on your phone. It will, I don't wanna say it's garbage. It might work for some people, but please, if you really want it to look really good, please edit on a computer or a laptop of some sort. So don't try not editing on your phone. If it works for you, then go, go for it. But eventually switch over to a computer or a laptop of some sort, because that works much better. And it's easier to upload, I guess, but whatever, moving on. So for if you get a Windows computer, uh, you can get Movie Maker, that's really basic. And then also you can get like Photoshop and uh, Premiere Pro. So that's the route you can go. So now I'm gonna talk about Mac. If you go over to Mac and you use that, you pick that, it actually, it's pretty awesome. You can use a uh, 
Premiere Pro, After Effects, all the Adobe kind of softwares. You can use Photoshop on that as well. And also you can use an editor called Pixelmator, which is like a downgrade from Photoshop, but it was pretty good. I used it for a, at least a year and it's been really awesome. And uh, it's, it's like Photoshop, but it's kind of worse. It was only $30 on the Apple store. So I highly recommend that. But the main reason I love Mac so much is they give you iMovie for free. Now iMovie was literally the best video editor that was free of all time. Because then there's Movie Maker on Windows, but that's so basic. But then you get iMovie and it's almost like Final Cut Pro, which is the editor I use. But it's like half of, it's like a really basic version of a more advanced editor that you can get later on. So I highly recommend you get a Mac, an iMac, which is a desktop computer, or you get a, a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, which is the laptops. And then you can download iMovie for free. Once I got my MacBook Pro, I pre what I pretty much did was I downloaded iMovie and I had a free editor right there. That was actually pretty good. Because with Movie Maker, it's just really basic. They might have updated it, but I just really don't like it. So if you ask me, get an Apple computer, a Mac, any kind of like iMac, MacBook Pro or whatever, and then you can download iMovie and that's a really basic start. For more advanced people, you can download Final Cut Pro, which you can either pay for or pirate. I don't really care. You can get it for around maybe $300, $400. It's the editor I use. I actually paid for it, so I didn't pirate it. But um, you can also get Photoshop. You can pirate that. If you want to get Photoshop, look up how to get Photoshop for free. And the same thing with Premiere Pro. If you want to get an advanced editor right off the bat, you can get Premiere Pro. You just have to find out how to pirate it. So yeah, honestly, I recommend Macs all the way. So I'm an Apple person. I'm really biased about it, but yeah, I recommend Mac. Okay, and this last thing I'm going to show off is really advanced. You really don't need this, but um, I highly recommend it. It's just the greatest thing I have. Basically, it is a hard drive. And what this thing can do is pretty much, it's like a giant USB and it can store over four terabytes of storage. I store a bunch of stuff on this, like I store upcoming videos, I store like up to five videos on that thing. I stored the entire series of Path to Psycho on that thing. It's amazing. It's pretty much a giant USB. It's really good for people that have to hold on to a lot of uh, scenes and a lot of stuff and your computer just doesn't have enough uh, memory for it. It's really pricey, but if you can get yourself this, this is also really, this is only good for Mac, so I highly recommend you get this if you have a Mac and you're going with that route. But uh, yeah, so that is an external hard drive. It is the last C, I don't know how to pronounce that, but there it is. Last C um, external hard drive, it's the orange one and whatever, holds up to four terabytes. There's different kinds of ones that hold like maybe like two terabytes or one terabyte, which is much cheaper. But this thing, it's like a giant USB, it's a monster and it's going to hold on to your files and it's amazing. Highly recommend it. This video is not sponsored. So yeah, I hope this helped you. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comments. I will try to reply to as many as possible because this video is all to just help you guys. And if you have any questions, comment it down. I'll try to reply, I promise. I hope I didn't confuse you guys. I hope this video was straightforward. I, I'm not, I'm kind of one of those people that ramble on about stuff. So um, hopefully you understood everything I said. If you didn't, then just leave a comment and I'll try to answer. I wish you all luck with getting all your um, different items and then starting up your channel. Highly recommend a computer, highly recommend an editor. And yeah, so I hope you all are excited for the next episode of Mario Plush video tips. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to be covering next episode. Just comment down what you want to know. Uh, if you have any other questions, I'll try to reply. And uh, yeah, hope this video helped. Peace out, guys, and see you guys in the next advice video.